Dear students, welcome back to a new mathematics session. In the previous session, we have discussed question number 1 to 10 from exercise 10.2. In today's session, we shall discuss the remaining problems from the same exercise. Let's move on to the topic. Let's begin with question number 11. A line perpendicular to the line segment joining the points 1, 0 and 2, 3 divides it in the ratio 1 is to n. Find the equation of the line. Here, a line perpendicular to another line. The second line is having n points 1, 0 and 2, 3 divides it in the ratio 1 is to n. This line, this perpendicular lining, line is dividing this line who is having n points 1, 0 and 2, 3 in the ratio 1 is to n. Find the equation of this line, perpendicular line we have to find out. When we visualize, here you can see AB is a line segment joining the points 1, 0 and 2, 3. Another line CD which is perpendicular to AB is dividing AB in the ratio 1 is to n. Then we are asked to find out the equation of the line CD. So here we know that the lines, lines which are perpendicular to the, uh, the lines which are perpendicular means the product of their slopes equal to minus 1. If m1 and m2 are the slope means m1 into m2 equal to minus 1 or else uh, the slope of AB into slope of CD is equal to minus 1. That is what the statement we have learned. So here slope of AB into slope of CD that is equal to minus 1. Then here slope of AB we can calculate because we are having two points. So let's calculate that one by using the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So there is a mistake here y2 minus y1. So this is y1. Okay, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So slope of AB we can calculate y2. This is 3 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 1 x2 minus x1. So 3 minus 0 is 3 divided by 2 minus 1 is 1. So 3 by 1 is equal to 3. So 3 into slope of C, so the slope of CD only we have to calculate. 3 into slope of CD is equal to minus 1. Then slope of CD is this 3 we can bring to the right side. It comes as minus 1 divided by 3. Slope of CD equal to you can put. Slope of CD is equal to minus 1 divided by 3. Then P divides AB in the ratio 1 is to N. So the point P is dividing this line AB in the ratio 1 is to N. If you know the coordinate of this P means we will be able to find out the equation of CD because we are having the slope of CD. By using point slope form, we can calculate the equation of CD. That is our plan. Now, the section formula we know m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 then m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. This is what the sec uh, section formula. By using this formula, we can find out the coordinate of P. So, you can see here, only we can consider the line AP and the point P. How we are getting the point P? P means we are uh, there is a line segment CD which is perpendicular to AB that is meeting at the point P on AB. That is the way we are getting P. So P is dividing AB in the ratio 1 is to n. So here M1, M2 is 1 and n. Then X1, X2, Y1, Y2 are all these things are there from the endpoints we will get. So coordinate of P are now you can see M1 x2 that means 1 into 2 if you want i will just draw and show you m1 x2 m1 means this one 1 into this x2 m1 x2 plus m2 x1 m2 here uh, next one is m2 x1 m2 x1 means here n into x1 x1 is 1 okay this is the way we are going then divided by m plus n m plus n means 1 plus n next is m1 y2 m1 y2 means here you can see m1 is 1 1 into y2 y2 is this 3 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 m2 y1 means n into this one 0 divided by m plus n m plus means 1 and n so 1, 1 plus n next is 1 into 2 is well, the same thing already it is repeating next we can just add it 1 into 2 is 2 2 plus n divided by 1 plus n here 1 into 3 is 3 3 plus 0 3 plus 0 is 3 divided by 1 plus n so these, these are the coordinates of next here we need to find the equation of the line cd equation of the line cd means now we are having a point and a slope so here passing through point we have got p n plus 2 by n plus 1 3 divided by n plus 1 and the pass sloping is slope is minus 1 by 3 point is there slope is there so by using point slope form we can find out the equation 
y minus y0 equal to m into x minus x0. This is the point slope form. y minus y0. y0 is 3 divided by n plus 1 is equal to m. m is minus 1 by 3 into x minus x0. x minus x0 is n plus 2 by n plus 1. Then when you take n plus 1 as common LCM here, this n plus 1 you have to multiply here because there is no denominator. So y into n plus 1 minus 3 divided by n plus 1 equal to minus 1 by 3 into here also LCM if you take x into n plus 1 minus n plus 2 by n plus 1. Then when we just uh, cross multiply this 3 here again, 3 into y into n plus 1 minus 3. So there a double bracket is there in this bracket. Okay, 3 is outside. Because you are multiplying this 3 here equal to this n plus 1 we have to multiply here. That is here already there is a minus sign. Then x into n plus 1 minus n plus 2. Then what we can do is here in, when we multiply this n plus 1 here what will happen is this n plus 1 will be in the numerator and here denominator there will be n plus 1. That means the two n plus 1s will be cancelled. Of course here itself we can cancel it's not an issue. We need to bring on the right side. So what will be there on the right side? There is this 3 is gone here then minus 1 into x into n plus 1 minus n plus 2 that only is there. Then remove the bracket 3y into n plus 1 then 3 plus uh, sorry here 3 into minus 3 3 into minus 3 is minus 9 that minus 9 is a constant that we can bring to the right side that will be coming as plus 9 then here there is an x term that x term we can bring to the left side that means here minus x is there so when it comes to the left side it comes as plus x into n plus 1 now you see there y term and x term we are bringing to the left side then the constants will be on the right side constant you see here minus into minus that is plus n plus 2 then here 3 into 3 that is 9 minus 9 that is bringing to the right side so is plus 9. That is 3y into n plus 1 plus x into n plus 1 is equal to here n plus 2 plus 9 is 11. So y term, x term and the remaining constants we bought here. So 3y into n plus 1 plus x into n plus 1 is equal to n plus 11. So this is the required equation. Next we shall discuss question number 12. Find the equation of a line that cuts off equal intercepts on the coordinate axis and passes through the point 2, 3. Find the equation of a line that cuts off equal intercepts. Intercepts mentioned here means A and B. On the coordinate axis, coordinate axis means X and Y axis and passes through the point 2, 3. The equation is passing through the point 2, 3. That is what the question. So when we visualize the, uh, the conditions here, there are two axes that is one is x axis and another one will be y axis and there is a line which is having equal intercepts with the coordinate axis that means equal intercepts means it is meeting at a point on the x axis that is a and here another point if it is b means intercept form we know that x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 this is what the intercept form and here what the condition is given to us is intercepts are equal means a and b are equal a and b are equal means the intercept form we know this is written x by a plus y by b equal to 1 x and y x i and y intercepts are equal that means a and b are equal a equal to b these are the intercepts a and b so the equation of the line is x by a plus y by a instead of b we can put a y by a equal to 1 so if you take a as lcm x plus y will be coming numerator that a will be multiplying here cross multiplication means it will be coming like this x plus y x plus y divided by a x plus y divided by a is equal to 1 when you cross multiply it will be coming as x plus y is equal to a into 1 is a then when we take this a to the left side it comes as x plus y minus a equal to 0 now this is the equation of this line but the problem is here a is unknown for us but for finding A, there is a condition is given because this line is passing through the point 2, 3. So the line is passing through the point 2, 3 means clearly that if you put 2, comma 3 in this equation by replacing X and Y, the equation will satisfy. That means since the line is passing through the point 2, 3, point 2, 3 will satisfy the equation of the line. Means what you have to do is you have to replace X by 2 and Y with 3. So putting X is equal to 2 and Y is equal to 3, 2 plus 3 minus a is equal to 0. So minus a is equal to 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 bringing to the right side comes means minus 5. So minus minus cancelled a will be getting as 5. a is equal to 5. Now you replace a here with 5 then the equation of the line will be formed. So x plus y minus 
5. This a is replaced and put the value x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. This is what the required equation. Next we shall discuss question number 13. Find the equation of the line passing through the point 2, 2 and cutting off intercepts on the axis whose sum is 9. Here also intercept form only. The intercepts sum is given to us 9. That means intercepts we have mentioned as a and b in the formula. So a plus b we will get as 9. And that line is passing through the point 2, 2. So here this one we can visualize like there will be just like the previous question we can just draw x and y axis this is x axis and this one is y axis and there is a line which is having intercepted a here on the x axis and here at b is there okay and as per the condition intercept form we know that x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 and here the condition is the sum of the intercepts is 9 that means a plus b is equal to 9 so given that the sum is 9, a plus b is equal to 9. From here we can calculate b, b is equal to take a to the right side, it comes as 9 minus a. Then the intercept form is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. Then what we can do, this b we can replace and put this value. That means x by a plus y divided by 9 minus a equal to 1. Then we have to solve this equation and we have to find out the value of a. So here for finding out the value of a, what it is given to us is there is a condition 2 comma 2. The line is passing through 2 comma 2. That means here what we can do is instead of x we can put x is equal to there is a point 2 and y is equal to 2 that we have to substitute because the line is passing through the point 2 2 clearly the line the point will satisfy the equation means you can replace x and put a, a 2 and replace y put a 2. So, 2 2 we can substitute here so but instead of going for calculation to this step what we can do is there is a little more work we can do here that means what we can do is we have to take an lcm there lcm how do we take when we take the lcm it comes as a into 9 minus a some steps i have avoided you can do it as a mental calculation but some of you may feel this is 9 minus a some of you may feel difficulty in doing mental calculation that's why i'm showing here the Cross multiply means this way we can multiply that is x into 9 minus a x into 9 minus a then plus y into what is that y into a y into a that is that is what we have to do is equal to 1 when we take the lcm of for this step we are we will be getting this step then what we can do x we can replace and put 2 y we can replace put 2 so 9 minus a into 2 plus 2 into a o into 2 is 2 into a divided by a into 9 minus a equal to 1 then when you replace when you remove the bracket 9 into 2 is 18 minus 2 into a is minus 2a plus 2a is equal to this one we can cross multiply so 1 into a into 9 minus a is a into 9 minus a then here 2a plus 2a minus 2a plus 2a is 0 18 minus 0 is equal to when you remove the bracket 9 into a is 9a minus a into a is a square then bring this a square here minus a square coming to the left side means plus a square plus 9a coming to the right side minus 9a plus here 18 is there equal to 0. We have to factorize this one. Factorize means you can see here sum 18 product is minus 9. So the numbers are minus 6 and minus 3. You can see 6 into 3. Minus 6 into minus 3 is 18. If you want I will write and show you that one. So the product sum is equal to minus 9 and the product is 18 product is equal to 18 when we do the, when we find out the numbers what we are getting is numbers are minus 6 and minus 3 minus 6 minus 3 when you do addition will be getting minus 9 and the minus 6 into minus 3 minus into minus plus it will be coming 18 so that's why it is minus 6 a minus 3 a instead of minus 9 a we have written plus 18 equal to 0 then what we can do is here in these two a is common if you take a common outside a balance here 6 balance so a minus 6 and in these two minus 3 if you take common minus 3 into first term a balance here plus is having two minuses one minus is outside so one minus balance 18 6 uh, 3 taking means 6 balance so 6 into 3 is 18 equal to 0 here you can see a minus 6 is common take out a minus 6 then first term a balance second term minus 3 balance so a minus 3 into a minus 6 is equal to 0 a minus 3 is equal to 0 we can equate then a is equal to 3 the next a minus 6 we can equate with 0 then a will be getting 6 so a is having two values one is 3 and another one is 6 so when a is equal to 3 we can substitute here x by a plus y by 9 minus a equal to 1 in this equation so x by 3 plus y divided by 9 minus a a is 3 equal to 1 
So x by 3 plus y by 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 equal to 1. So when you take 6 as common LCM here, 3 divided by 6 is 2. That 2 we have to multiply here. So 2x plus here 6 is denominator same as our common denominator. So nothing to multiply. It plus y equal to 1. That means 2x plus y is equal to 6 into 1 is 6. This is our first equation. Then if you want, you can bring minus 6, uh, 6 to the left side. It comes as minus 6. So 2x plus y minus 6 is equal to 0. We can make it. Next is when a is equal to 6. Second value if you take, substitute here x by a means x by 6 plus y divided by 9 minus 6 is equal to 1 then x by 6 plus y divided by 9 minus 6 is 3 equal to 1 as before 6 is the LCM then here x will be coming because denominators are same here also 6 here also 6 here the denominator is 3 but our common denominator is 6 so 6 by 3 is 2 that 2 we have to multiply here 2y so x plus 2y by 6 is equal to 1 that means x plus 2y is equal to 6 then bring this 6 to the left side x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0 so these are the two required equations next we shall discuss question number 14 find the equation of the line through the point 0 comma 2 making an angle of 2 pi pi 3 with the positive x axis also find the equation of the line parallel to it and crossing the y-axis at a distance of 2 units below the origin. Here two questions are there. Find the equation of a line through the point 0 to point is there. Making an angle 2 pi by 3 with the positive x-axis. Means angle of uh, inclination with the x-axis is given. Means slope we will get from here. Point slope. So point slope form. By using point slope form we can find out the first equation. Then again next is what find the equation of a line parallel to it, parallel to the first equation, first line. And crossing the y-axis at a distance of 2 units below the origin. 2 units below the origin means minus 2. So for, uh, let's find out first equation then by using the same diagram we can go for finding the second one. So when we visualize the first part it comes like this. Means there is a line, it is making the positive direction of x-axis an angle of 2 pi by 3 and passing through the point 0 2 0 2 means it is on the y axis because y value only is there x value is 0 that's why 0 2 so point slope form slope of the line a b that we can calculate tan theta because t, um, theta is given to us they say tan theta we can calculate if two points are given to you means y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 we can use for slope so here angle is given so tan theta tan 2 pi by 3 tan 2 pi by 3 means tan 120 degree 2 into 90 uh, sorry 2 into 180 by 3 so 3 and 180 we can consider 60 times so 60 into 2 is 120 degree tan 120 degree is unknown for us so we have to change it to non format that means tan 180 minus 60 tan 180 minus 60 means it is minus tan 60 because uh, when we draw the quadrants tan it is in the uh, tan 180 minus 60 180 minus 60 means it will be coming in the second quadrant here it will be coming second quadrant tan is negative that's why it is coming as minus minus tan 60 degree then tan 60 degree value we know that is a root 3 so minus sign is there so minus root 3 is the slope of the line a b now here slope we are having point 0 2 and slope minus root 3 point slope form is y minus y 0 equal to m into x minus x 0 so equation of the line a b is y minus y 0 y 0 means passing through the point 2 so y value is 2 so y minus 2 is equal to m m is minus root 3 into x minus x 0 x 0 is 0 here that is y minus 2 is equal to minus root 3 into x minus 0 is x so minus root 3 into x is minus root 3 x then here when you take this one to the left side minus root 3x coming as plus root 3x plus root 3x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 this is the first part equation then here the second part is mentioned we have to form the equation of a line parallel to it means there is a line a b and we have to form the equation of the line parallel to that line c d so here c d we have formed that cd is parallel to ab under a condition crossing the y axis at a distance of 2 units below the origin so this line is passing 2 units above the origin and here 2 units below the origin means 0 minus 2 will be coming because negative direction of y axis means 0 minus 2 so r 0 minus 2 is the passing through point now we know that two lines are parallel means their slopes are equal so slope of AB we know that is minus root 3 that means slope of CD also minus root 3 only because they are parallel and there is a point is also given passing through point here also we can use point slope form. 
So two lines are parallel means slope of CD and slope of AB equal. So slope of CD is equal to minus root 3. Then equation of the line CD is y minus y0 equal to m into x minus x0 because the point and the slope we are having. So y minus the y0, y0 is minus 2. So y minus minus 2 is equal to m. m is same as the previous slope minus root 3 into x minus x0, x0 is 0 y minus into minus is plus y plus 2 is equal to minus root 3 into x minus 0 is x then this one we can bring to the left side that means root 3x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 so previously we have got a root 3x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 here now the equation is root 3x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 move on to question number 15 the perpendicular from the origin to a line meets it at the point minus 2 9 find the equation of the line so here, first of all, we will uh, visualize the question, then we will go for uh, planning the solution. So here, the perpendicular from the origin to a line means the point minus 2, 9. Minus 2, 9 means clearly it is in the second quadrant because x is negative and y is positive. So minus 2, 9 will be coming here. The perpendicular from the origin to a line meets at this point. See here, there is a line AB. Perpendicular from the origin is meeting at minus 2, 9. So this is the perpendicular line OC. Find the equation of the line. So we are asked to find out the equation of the line AB. But for finding the equation of the line AB, one thing is there with us. One point is there on the line AB. If you know the slope of AB, clearly by using point slope form, we can find out the equation of the line AB. But how do we find the slope of AB? Quite simple. So here, when you look at the another uh, line OC, you see the coordinates of C. Coordinates of C means it is a origin. Sorry, coordinate of O. It is a origin. Origin means 0, 0 is the coordinates. So now you see O is also having a point. C is also having point. So the slope of OZ easily we can calculate by using the point uh, formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. And you see that OC and AB are perpendicular. If two lines are perpendicular means the product of their slope is minus 1. By using that we can calculate the slope of AB. Let's go for it. OC perpendicular to AB. OC is perpendicular to AB. So slope of OC into slope of AB equal to minus 1 because they are perpendicular lines. Now slope of OZ we can calculate because we have both the points. Slope of OC is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2, y2 is here when we check 9, 9 minus 0 divided by x2 minus x1, minus 2 minus 0. So 9 minus 0 is 9 divided by minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2. So just we can bring this minus sign to the numerator, minus 9 by 2 is the slope of OC. Then slope of AB into slope of OC that is minus uh, 9 by 2 equal to minus 1. From here slope of AB we can calculate, minus minus we can cancel, plus will be coming. Then 2 into 1 that is 2. 9 will be coming to the denominator. So 2 by 9 is slope of AB. Now you see slope of AB we have got and there is a point also is there which is passing through AB. So point slope. By using point slope form we can find out the equation of AB. So here equation of the line AB will be y minus y0 equal to m into x minus x0. So y minus y0, y0 is 9 is equal to m. m we have got 2 by 9. So 2 by 9 into x minus x0, x0 is minus 2. Then y here when we multiply this 9 with this one, it will be coming as 9y minus 9 into 9 is 81. Same time removing the bracket also equal to, when we remove the bracket here, 2 into x is 2x, minus into minus plus, 2 into 2 is 4. Then 2x, this 9y we can bring to the right side because always we need a x term positive. So 2x we can keep, 9y we can bring to the right side, minus 9y will be coming. Minus 81 will come to the right side as plus 81. Plus 81 plus 4 is plus 85. So 2x minus 9y plus 85 equal to 0. This is the equation. Next we shall discuss question number 16. Here the applications of uh, straight lines we will be using, uh, will be solving means daily life questions. The length L in centimeter of a copper rod is linear function of its Celsius temperature C. L means the length. And C means the temperature. So L and C relation is a linear function. Linear function means when we plot their graph, we will get a straight line. So that is what the linear function means. Uh, when we collect the points of L and when we collect corresponding points of C, L and C, when we make ordered pair and plot the graph, we will get the straight line. 
here some values of L and C are mentioned. Here in an experiment, if L is equal to 124.942, when C is equal to 20. So these are the corresponding values. L values 124.942 means C value will be 20. And L value 125.134 means C value will be 110. Corresponding values. Express L in terms of C. As we know that these two, the, this relation between L and C is a linear function means when we draw the graph, we will be getting a straight line. Now you can see in that straight line, two points are mentioned here, L and C, one set of point and here another set of point. Two points we have given. And we are asked to find out, express L in terms of C means we are asked to find out the equation connecting L and C. Here there are two points are mentioned. So by using two point form, we can write the equation. So two point form we know y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Here this is x1 y1, this is x2 y2. Let's substitute L minus. So here y we can take it as L. So L minus y1. Y1 means this one 124.942 that is mentioned. So here you see here this first value is mentioned for C. Okay, ordered pair while writing time. This one we have written the value of C, this one we have written the value of L. This also this is C and this is L. Okay, that means Y we have considered as L and uh, X we have considered as C. Okay, so here Y is L minus Y1. Y1 means this value that is 124.942 equal to Y2. Y2 is 125.134 minus y1 124.942 divided by x2 minus x1 x2 is 110 minus x1 is 20 into x x is c so c minus x1 x1 is 20 okay carefully we have to substitute that is l minus 124.942 is equal to when we subtract these two we will be getting 0 0.192 just write and subtract okay 0 0.192 4 minus 2 is 2 13 minus 4 is 9 and next is here uh, 10 is there 10 minus 9 is 1 so that is the way we have got a 0 0.192 divided by 90 mental calculation if you are able to do, do it no problem c minus 20 that is l is equal to 0 0.192 by 90 into c minus 20 this will be coming here plus 124.942 this is the relation connecting l and c okay we have expressed l in terms of c express l in terms of c means l is equal to something uh, connecting with the c that is what the form so this is what the answer next we shall discuss question number 17 the owner of a milk store finds that he can sell 980 liters of milk each week at rupees 14 per liter and 1220 liters of milk each week at rupees 16 per liter Assuming a linear relationship between selling price and demand, how many liters could he sell weekly at rupees 17 per liter? Here, we are assuming a linear relationship between selling price and demand. Means, if selling price and demand we consider as X and Y, by plotting the points corresponding values of X and Y, means selling price and demand corresponding points, if we plot it on a graph, we will get a straight line. So, by Assuming that linear relationship between these two quantities, we have to find out how many liters could he sell weekly at rupees 17 per liter. That is what the question. So here corresponding values are mentioned here. He can sell 980 liters of milk at a week uh, of milk each week at rupees 14 per liter. And a thousand, this is one pair, 180 and 14. Another one is 1220 liters. He can sell it at rupees 16 per liter. This is another pair, okay? 120 and 16. Then here, assuming selling price per liter along the x axis means x we can consider as the selling price and the demand we can consider as y, y axis value. Then linear relationship between selling price per liter and the demand is. The equation of the line passing through the point 14, 918, 16, 1220. So here linear relationship between uh, the, these two quantities selling price and demand means it is a straight line connecting these two points 14, 9, 980, 16, 120. So here uh, uh, selling price is x axis value we have taken means selling price means x value selling price means here 14 per liter that is the first one that is the x value corresponding y value that is the uh, quantity that is 980 demand 980 that is 
y value. Corresponding 16 value is 1220. Now you see two points are there. So equation of the line is 2.4. That is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Formula we know, so no need to write. y minus y1, 980 is equal to 1220. 1, 1, that means this is y2 minus y1, 980 divided by x2 minus x1 that means 16 minus 40 into x minus x1 that means x minus 40 y minus 980 is equal to 1220 minus 980 we will be getting as 240 divided by 16 minus 14 is 2 into x minus 40 mental calculation is done if you are facing difficulty write and do it okay you need to show it on the right side of your book 240 by 2 into x minus 14 so y minus 980 is equal to 2 and 240 when we cancel we will be getting as 120 so 2 and 1, 240 we can cancel and write 120 okay then when we write it as y minus 980 is equal to 120 into x minus 14 from here y is equal to this minus 980 we can bring to the right side y equal to 120 into x minus 14 plus 980 so this is the required equation then equation is formed okay then what it is asked the question how many liters could he sell weekly at rupees 17 per liter 17 per liter means this is um, uh, here selling price selling price means x axis value means x is 17 we have to put so x is 17 when we put when x is equal to 17 y value will be 120 into x x is 17 minus 40 plus 980 then 120 into 17 minus 14 17 minus 14 we will be getting as 3 120 into 3 is 360 so 360 plus 980 360 plus 980 is 1340 so the final answer as per the question is how many liters so 1340 liters he can sell a weekly at rupees 17 per liter next we shall discuss question number 18 P of AB is the midpoint of a line segment between axes. Show that the equation of the line is x by a plus y by b equal to 2. P of AB is the midpoint of a line segment between the axes. When we visualize line segment between axes, that means this one, AB. AB is a line segment between the axes. Here you can see x axis and y axis. Between the axis, the line segment we can consider as AB. And at x axis it is crossing the point at p0 and at y axis it is crossing the point 0 comma 2 sorry 0 comma q and p a comma b is the midpoint of a b so here let's consider the coordinates of a is p comma 0 this is our assumption and coordinates of b is 0 comma q that is our assumption then given to us p of a b is the midpoint of a b so this is midpoint and the two endpoints are there means the midpoints formula we know that is uh, x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 here midpoint of the line point uh, line joining the points a p0 and b0 q is p of a b so this p0 and 0 q the endpoints of a line means a comma b is the midpoint so midpoint we can calculate by using the formula x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 so this is our x coordinate this is our y coordinate and this x coordinate will be equal to a and this y coordinate will be equal to this b okay so a comma b that is our midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 you see 0 plus p divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 that means 0 plus q divided by 2 that means a comma b equal to p plus 0 is p divided by 2 0 plus q is q divided by 2 then you can equate the corresponding coordinates a that is x value here x value is p by 2 so a will be equal to p by 2 then from here p we can calculate p is equal to 2 into a because we want value of p and q then next is corresponding y values we can equate b is equal to q by 2 so q is equal to 2b now we have got both the values means 0 comma q value also we know q is 2b p comma 0 also we know p is 2a now two n points are there we are asked to find out the equation of the line and we have to show that the equation of the line is x by a plus y by b is equal to 2 so now you see two points are there two points are there means you can see 0 comma 2b and 2a comma 0 two points are there means we know the formula two point form 
that is y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Let's substitute y minus y1, y1 is 0 is equal to y2 minus y1. So y2 is 2b minus y1 is 0 divided by x2 minus x1. x2 is 0 minus x1 is 2a into x minus x1 that means x minus x1 x1 is 2a okay then y minus 0 is y 2b minus 0 is 2b 0 minus 2a is minus 2a into x minus 2a so y is equal to here 2 2 we can cancel from the right side okay here there is a 2 numerator and denominator we can cancel then this minus we can bring to the numerator minus b by a into x minus 2a so a into y a y that when we remove the bracket it will be coming as minus b into x minus bx minus into minus plus 2a so do one thing just uh, i will show you the calculation here when you remove the bracket you will be getting as y of course this a when we take to the left side it will be coming as ay and the right side when we remove the bracket it will be coming as minus bx minus into minus plus b into uh, 2a that means 2ab okay so this is what when we remove the bracket we are getting so just we have to rearrange it rearrange it means ay is there this minus bx when we bring to the left side it comes as plus bx and equal to right side there is 2ab so dividing by ab because we want in this format so right side is having only 2 here 2ab is there we don't want this ab so we have to cancel it ab so dividing through ab means ay by ab bx by ab 2ab by ab so here the common terms we can cancel first of all right side we can cancel then here there is a b we can cancel and here there is one a is there that also we can cancel so we'll be getting as y by b plus x by a is equal to 2 so when we arrange it in this format it will be coming as x by a plus y by b is equal to 2 next we shall discuss question number 19 point r h k divides a line segment between the axis in the ratio 1 is to 2 find the equation of the line so here one point is given to us r h k similar to the previous question only previous question the point is given to us as midpoint but here the point dividing the line segment in the ratio 1 is to 2 means here we have to use the section formula find the equation of the line we are asked to find out the equation of the line so let ab be the line segment between the axes such that r h k divides ab in the ratio 1 is to 2 let's visualize it ab is the line segment we have taken see here ab we have taken between the axis and uh, at b it is 0 b is a coordinate at a a 0 is a coordinate these are our assumptions okay 0 comma b and a comma 0 and this is the given condition r h k is a point on the line which is dividing the line segment ab in the ratio 1 is to 2 so if we are finding out the value of uh, a and b then by using the two point form or intercept form any form we can use and we can find out the equation of the line that is our plan so here h k is dividing the line segment in the ratio 1 is to 2 so by using the section formula section formula when we use here formula direct application i have done so we let's write it this one as m1 and this one we can take it as m2 okay then next this one this one we can take it as x2 and this one we can take it as y2 and another one will be this one will be x1 and this one will be y1 okay so even if you change x1 y1 x2 y2 m1 m2 and all it's not an issue okay then hk this point the coordinates of this point will be equal to m1 x2 m1 x2 means 1 into 0 plus m2 x1 m2 x1 means 2 into a divided by m plus n then next is m1 y2 m1 into b m1 1 into b plus m2 y1 2 into 0 divided by m plus n then hk is equal to 1 into 0 is 0 plus 2 into a is 2a so 0 plus 2a is 2a by 3 1 into b is b plus 2 into 0 is 0 so b plus 0 is b b divided by 1 plus 2 is 3 two coordinates are equal means their corresponding x values and y values will be equal so x value if you get h is equal to 2a by 3 from here a only we want a is equal to this 3 we can cross multiply 3 into h divided by 2 next is b by 3 is equal to k from here b we can calculate b is equal to 3k a and b we have got so here a value and b value if you substitute we will be getting uh, two points okay either you can use two point form or intercept form because these two are we can consider as the x intercept and y intercept here we are going to use the intercept form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 
So here x by a, a we are having 3h by 2 plus y by b, b we are having 3k is equal to 1. Then 3h by 2 means we can take the reciprocal and multiply. That means reciprocal and multiply means this is the way we have to do. See here, it will be coming as x into 3h by 2, we can write it as 2 by 3h. Okay, this is what the reciprocal multiplication. Okay. Instead of division, we take the reciprocal and multiply. So 2 into x is 2x divided by 3h plus here nothing to do. Y by 3k equal to 1. Then in these two terms, there is 1 by 3 is common. Take out denominator 3 here, here also 3. So 1 by 3 into remaining here 2x by denominator h plus here y by k equal to 1. Then hk if you take common LCM, hk if you take then what we can do is this k will be multiplied here so 2x into k plus this h if you multiply here h into y okay equal to there is already one 3 that 3 we cross multiplied and go to the right side so 1 into 3 what we have done is simply we have taken the common LCM then here 2kx x term we have got then hy y term is equal to this hk we can multiply this side means cross multiplication 3 into hk is 3 hk so this is the required equation next we shall discuss question number 20 by using the concept of equation of a line through that the three points 3 0 minus 2 comma minus 2 and 8 2 are collinear we are asked to use the concept of equation of a line so prove that these three points are collinear. We know that how to prove collinearity previously also we have done but those methods we will not uh, work out. Here it is specifically mentioned we have used the concept of equation of a line. See here what we are going to do is first two points we will take. If you are having two points by using two point form we can form the equation of line connecting those two points. And we have to prove that the third point is lying on the same line if these points means x value and y value if you substitute it in the equation what we get if you are satisfied. So this is the way we are going to do. Anyway, first of all we will find out the equation of lines connecting these two points. So the equation of the line passing through 3, 0 and minus 2, comma minus 2, 2 point form. y minus y1, y minus y1 means y1 is 0 here, y minus y1 is equal to here y2 minus y1, y2 is minus 2, but y1 is 0 divided by x2 minus x1, x2 is minus 2, x1 is 3, into x minus x1, x1 is 3 here. So we have substituted y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Then y minus 0 that is y equal to minus 2 minus 0 is minus 2, minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 into x minus 3, minus minus we can cancel, then 5 we can cross multiply, 5 into y is 5y is equal to 2 into uh, x is 2x then 2 my, uh, this 2 into 3 2 into 3 is minus 6 of course that minus minus cancel okay just uh, cancel and keep or else you may have to you may multiply that is inside so 2 into x is 2x 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 2x minus y is equal to 6 that is the equation 2x this 5y bring to the right side it comes as minus 5y then equal to this minus 6 we can bring to the left side that is plus 6 okay little bit of arrangement only we, we need 2x quantity as positive so 2x we keep here bring y another side that means plus 5y coming right side means minus 5y then constant we want separately means minus 6 push to the another side that means plus 6 then at x is equal to 8 and y equal to 2 now we are going to the third point third point we will take and it will substitute in this equation when we substitute x as 8 and y as 2, if you get 6, then surely this third point is lying in this line. Okay, connecting these two points. Means these three are lying in the same line. So LHS is equal to 2 into x. x is 8 minus 5 into y. y is 2. So 16 minus 10. 16 minus 10 is 6. See there, it is our right hand side. So clearly when we substitute this uh, third point 8 comma 2 it is satisfying the equation so we can say that the line passing through the point 3 0 and minus 2 comma minus 2 that means first two points also passes through the point 8 comma 2 hence the point 3 0 minus 2 minus 2 and 8 2 are collinear this is what the proof dear students Today we have completed the remaining questions from exercise 10.2 and also we have completed the same exercise. 
I request all the students to go through exercise 10.1 and 10.2, especially the six forms of equations of lines. Then while practicing, if you have any doubt, please mark it and keep. We will discuss it during the discussion session. Thank you for watching.